Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how you can customize your rich text block in Webflow so that you can use it on your blog page or on your product pages or anywhere on your website so that you or your client can easily add content without adding manually headings, paragraphs, images or list blocks. So you get everything within rich text block. So let's dive in and look this in action. Okay, as you can see, uh, I am here on my Webflow account and uh, my project. I hope you know all this stuff. If you don't, please go and check out my Webflow's basic course. I just link is given in the description and this I button. Please check it out if you want to learn more in detail. Okay, so I have a container here. So how can you add a rich text block? Click on this plus icon at the top. And just scroll down and and go into this typography section inside that you have this rich text right just drag and put it within this container so now so you have all the headings and uh, you have all uh, the paragraph only single paragraph here and you have block quote order list you have text link bold uh, italic right and superscript and subscript all these elements that you need when you are writing a blog post so webflow is giving you this facility uh, from your blogs in the rich text element that you can add into cms and you can use this rich text block to fetch the data from your cms and show it as it is it is written in the cms okay so in order to change the style of it, because uh, the, right now it is taking the style, your global style. If I just add a heading or demo, if you look at this, if you just look at this style, this heading, this heading size is same as this heading, right? But I don't want it like this because sometimes uh, my designer provides me a different uh, design layouts for my blog page. He might be using a serif font or he might be using let's say big fonts or small or small fonts uh, uh, sizes in terms of right so uh, to customize it right without affecting the global style of headings paragraph and all these items that is that that you can see here what you can do is just select your rich text block on this left hand side panel Click here on the style selector, add a class. Let's say blog rich block, right? So this is the class given to this particular rich text block. Now, what you can do, take your heading H1, go again to this style selector. This is all about style set basics. If you don't know all these things, I highly recommend you check out my video that I just mentioned earlier. So throughout all these things, if you want to learn these basics, you can go and check out my video. Here, uh, you select H1, the, the pink one. When you click here, you don't have to create anything. Just click here. Uh, let me just delete that. I don't want to select anything right now. Look, I click on the heading one. Step two, click here on the style selector. I'll just select that. And I will click on this next selector inside of blog, reach block, right? make sure you select this otherwise whatever you make your changes will affect uh, on global level let's say on other pages you have a h1 heading it will affect that so make sure you you select this right it should be nested to your uh, blog reach blog and scroll down and here in the typography section you can change its color so whatever the h1 heading would be within my reach, uh, blog reach blog right the the size would be this whatever i change here let's say i want 48 the font size and 56 for the line height of that particular item or let's say 64 let's put more and i want it to be pure black let's make it pure black right so now it's pure black and uh, it's using uh, the sizes are these and i can change my phone to let's say open sense right so wherever I use this blog reach blog, it will take this style effect for whatever the content I, I use that. Let's say if your client is uh, adding a new content, right? If he, want, if he up, 
uploads a video or he adds a new paragraph you can change the style so now let's change uh, the same way you can change it for the rest of the block uh, headings now let's say paragraph select again these select all paragraph the pink one and uh, the same process you can use here the font size is 14 i think it's uh, it's way smaller for the desktop size so i'll uh, i'll make it 16 and 24 for all my paragraphs within that each block right and the block quote let's say sometimes uh, you have a block quote uh, which may have a background a light background right and you if you want that effect just select your block quote you can select individual items from here also right if you don't uh, if you if you make any mistake here just go and select it here select a block quote all block quotes within my this uh, blog reach content and uh, I want my I, I, I want my content to be italic right and uh, text uh, to be let's say uh, red let's let's just say red and I want the background of that particular block to be a lighter or uh, red color right let's use lighter red color and i want my border if you if you just scroll down a bit you'll see the border selected this whatever you see in this uh, yellow one or the orange one i have already using uh styles right if you can just get their style if you make any changes to on top of yellow it will become blue so i want the color to be red the extreme red that we have used so now uh let's say i want to add some Paddings also 20 from top 20 from here so now wherever i use this i have i'll have this block code style because if you look at many of the blogs they have their own styles for block codes they they keep they do add block codes right sometimes they add reviews or any tips they want to give away order list uh, for order list you can select individual items or the main order from here you either you can uh, if you want the numbers you can if you don't then just click on this list item but before that select order list for all the order list i have on this rich block i don't want any style there and i don't want any paddings also right so it will be like this but let's let's remove that i i just uh, used a command or control z on my keyboard and if you want to change anything let's say uh, this right for the whole block i want 20 20 from bottom 20 from top so whatever content i put uh, above or below my list block it will have 20 from top and 20 from bottom paddings okay so now what you can do what else do you want to do or well, let's say let's say we select this list item list item within my block make sure you always perform this thing don't miss this step otherwise it will affect everywhere i want to add some padding to my rich block see just look at this but so this is how you can do it the same way we change the content uh these headings colors and the size you can do the same thing here your links uh let's say you want bold links all the times uh, if you if someone adds anything right if, if your user adds anything you want a bold link you can do it just like this bold i i i, I want that one and i, I just, i'll just make it red pure red and this is how i can do it and now what else do we have mm, let's say that, that that thing is done all this right i mean this is easy the same thing you can customize it colors selecting these step one to select a class step two to make your changes that's it now so you have this blog rich blog text on your page and let's say you want to add anything here if i add a new heading i want to add a heading after this block right so what i'll do i'll double click i'll just hit enter and i will click on this for image video or let's say this block or only if i want to add some items let's say music or anything you i can do that list items anything let's say heading heading one i'll just select that part only 
I'll just make it heading one. So now just look at this. It is using that style only, nothing else. It is just using that style. So means if I don't use uh, this way, this method, right, then it will use the old one we had, the smaller, and it will change the heading one style to all the elements we have used on the page throughout our website. Okay. So, uh, so now if you want to make it responsive just click here on the responsive i don't okay i think on tablet it's fine on um, this one it's little bigger so what i'll do i'll come down here i'll just make it 40 and i'll just make it 48 right i think it looks fine to me and here uh, i think it looks good but let's make it 36 and uh, 44 i think it's fine the h1 so see we have just uh, made some changes to our responsive style also right on mobile it will have a 36 font size and on desktop it will have 48 right so this is how you can customize your rich text blocks within webflow in just few minutes how how many minutes it took us i like 10 minutes within 10 minutes we have made some changes to our rich text block in webflow without writing any code just making few changes and with few tricks right adding a class first step you add a class then uh, to your rich text blocks then you select your element select that elements uh, a pink one a pink class that you see when you click here select that and use a nested class the one you have given here right and start making your changes so it won't affect anywhere on your website and it will only uh, be available for that particular class that you are using right it's a nested class uh, thing and i think that's it. i think uh, you, this is how you can make changes uh, to your rich text blocks within webflow and if you want to learn more about webflow or webflow animations you can check out my channel you can subscribe my channel uh, so that you can get new videos every time I publish my videos on Tuesday or Friday. I also teach Wix Studio and I'm also planning to teach Bubble in the future. So if you want to learn more about these no code things, just follow my channel on YouTube and follow me on Twitter and LinkedIn so that you get notification every time. Bye guys.